everyone. Welcome. Now, um, today we're doing something a little different from usual. Now, we're going to talk something, uh, talk about something related to this game right here. Now, if you never heard of this game, it's Steel Battalions by Capcom. Capcom. Now, there's probably a good reason you may have never heard of this game, and you have, then you know exactly what I'm going to do. Because we're not talking or reviewing this game, because I have not... I have only got to, like, the third stage of this game. And it's pretty freaking hard. Really, really hard. Now, we're not talking about the game, but as I said, we're talking about something about the game. So we're going to start by quickly showing off this. Ugh. Oh my goodness. Now somebody just imagine all the weight all stuff here and then it's like, okay. There, there's the angry fans of evil. They must die for their evil ways. Goodbye, you stupid Spike Awards. <gasps> okay. Sorry. Anyway, um, this is a giant mech control, which, um, you can't see much of. Can you? No, not what I see. Huh? You just see nothing but the giant thing and two stickies. But you also get your handy dandy pedals. No Final Fantasy Legends music here, okay? Uh, pedals are pretty self-explanatory. They're really nice. It has some really good weight to it. And they push down really nice. Uh, they don't feel really cheap to me. But I'm not a giant mechanics. Now, obviously, uh, in this first video, which I'm thinking of calling Let's Show Tech Off or something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm really going to call it yet, but I wanted to make, like, a small side showy thing to show off weird stuff similar to this well um you have the you know just weird controls and stuff they ain't normal you know and this is definitely a doozy it's a big collectible i don't even know how much it goes for uh now these days Ooh, got a little dusty now tell you it's a very annoying to keep clean since i didn't get a box with this thing but anyway uh, let me Get this bit closer for you. No, don't mind me. I know I keep looking off that way a lot. I'm sorry for that. But I want to, you know, make sure you can see what you need to see. So we're going to start on this side. You got a gear shift. Several uh, things related to the engine and that. If I can number some of them. Uh, your auction system and that. If I number quickly, they all start down. And when you do your startup, you have to switch them all up. It's a gear, and uh, you got your uh, robot's actual control with an analog stick that also clicks in for additional button. Um, it only strives side to side. You use the analog basically to uh, do moving, and this is turning. Uh, be aware of some of these information might be wary because I haven't played this thing in a long time. In the middle panel here is mostly communications. You have your channels up here, and you would change. Uh, different people that would try to contact you during battle. You have a extinguisher and your different guns and stuff and a washer up here. Uh, your engine could actually catch on fire and you would have to extinguish your engines or... Sorry, I didn't mean that. You would actually have to extinguish your engine uh, or you would basically catch on fire and you'd have to get the fuck out, which uh, we'll explain that. Um, I don't remember all these. It says... Uh, Function switches, see, you got night vision, line color change, that. Obviously, a few different things there. Now, on the far side, you have additional buttons down here for uh, your map, your sensor, your sub, and then out for main motion zoom. And this was for your uh, actual shooting. 
Uh, what's really interesting about this stick, I think, is the fact that it's not like a normal stick where it will be set to the middle. It actually stays in the position you shoot. So you could actually, like, if you're going to try and do a, sp a certain tactic, you could make your crosshair point and, like, move strife sideways in a circular pattern firing. Now, it has a let's see, yeah, a red trigger there, and it has a lock in the bleed file. Main weapon, lock on on the switch. Then you had your start up and night and cockpit hatch. And then your very important eject button in case you mech. What was notorious about this game was the fact that if you died in it, your time save is destroyed and you have to start all over. So this button is your continue button. You f don't hit your continue button, you don't get to continue. You, you don't get saved. You don't get anything. And that's uh, pretty much the control in a nutshell. Uh, it's for the original Xbox, in case you uh, missed the uh, obvious Xbox covering of it. Uh, it has a normal hookup. And even like the normal Xbox controls, it has the weird split thing where it comes apart there. And I, I still don't understand why they do that. That's weird. Eh. But I guess it's useful for this thing, but for normal controls, I never even got those. But, um, I don't know how much this thing fetches anymore, but I, I, I paid, um, I believe it was $80 for all of it. And I think that was pretty cheap at the time, because I believe, uh, because at the time it was, uh, basically no one being sold, um, that I think it was going for like $200. And, um, I don't know the value of these anymore, like I said. Um, I would think it's probably wearable now, because, um, usually these kind of weird controls for stuff like this. And there was only two games that used this, which was the original Steel Battalion and a special online Steel Battalion where you could fight people. And what better to make a online file game for a control that so few people bought? Um, I can't remember how much this thing cost. I think it was like a hundred nine nine dollars or two hundred nine nine. I I don't really remember to be honest, but um, it's definitely a very interesting uh, control. That's for sure. But um, sadly, I can tell you, if you want my opinion of the game, like right now, I will probably never be this game because it, it is uh, very unmorsel. Uh, it's not very mossy. It's pretty evil, really evil, and it has no real tutorial. Um, you would think the book or the game, the game starts out like you're going to get a tutorial, then the base gets an attack and you jump in your mech and it's like, okay, um, is the game, I literally remember sitting there and I, is the game going to tell me anything? And I'm like, starting it up and then the garage explodes. And the manual doesn't tell you anything really, I mean, it shows like, you get about, that's about as much as you get about the control. Woohoo! Um, it's definitely an interesting thing to own, but um, to actually play, you're not really missing much. But I can definitely uh, understand, like, um, I don't know how it's going. I remember Capcom said they were going to make a Steel Battalion sequel on the Kinect. I remember Angry Joe made a video saying, like, I want to use this, not that. So it's like, and I can understand, because this thing costs a lot, even, I'm sure it costs a lot now, but, um, but, uh, it, it's very interesting. Um, if you have any, and also, actually, uh, in case these three panels, when you got them new, uh, they're connected to Gale. Has a little Allen winch on the bottom right there, and you can take them part of that if you had the box. But I just keep the gear since I don't. Um, I don't really have a box that can fit. I keep it covered in uh, two big bags, so it generally stays clean of dust and that. Because I I have no real luck finding a good box for it. But um, I hope you find the video interesting. Um, if you have any more questions about uh, this control or anything, or the game, uh, feel free to ask. Um, but it's definitely a very, very interesting device, and uh, I hope you enjoyed me sharing it with you a little. Too bad I'm a horrible driver, so the odds are 
I would be killing us all if this happened to be really hooked up by some strange force connected like down there and like everything went on and then it's like go okay. Anyway, it's time to eject from this episode. So long You know, my mouse is on the floor by the way. So yeah.